Hi, Barry Thompson from Powerboat Magazine. Well, today I've got the privilege of being on the Nimbus 405 Coupe. This is the third Nimbus that I've done. The first was the 305, then we did the 365, and the 405 is the largest in the, in the Coupe range. Uh, it's also available with a flybridge. Now, I've said before that these boats, they're made in Sweden, they're outstanding. The attention to detail, they're a little bit different to what we see from our local manufacturers, and I think that's what makes them quite special. Now, whereas the 305 coupe was a single engine, Volvo Penta Diesel, the 365 was twin engine or a single, this is only available with twin Volvo Penta Diesels, in the case of this boat, twin D4 300s. Got a top speed of about 29, I suppose, clean bottom and everything working, you might get 30 out of it, and a great cruise of about 22 to 25. Real easy boat to get on the plane. We've got Humphreys automatic tabs, so that's really helping us. These are the vertical tabs work famously, and they're another good product from Sweden. Hell position, nice and ergonomic, everything's where it should be. Twin screens. Let's firstly look at the accommodation. Now the difference in the 405 as opposed to the 305 and the 365 is that this is a three cabin layout and two bathrooms where the other two boats are just two cabins. So let's come have a look. So down forward here is the master cabin. And you know it's a very interesting shape and that's done for a reason. It's so you can actually get round it and probably a bit easier to make the bed when you've got it covered in the squabs. So it's a pretty good size. You've got loads of storage either side with hanging lockers and a uh, bit of storage underneath here as well. The other thing it's got is the ensuite. So, good size. And, it, you know, having two bathrooms in a 40 foot is, is a good feature. Full stand up shower behind the screen. And all the water rolls away, of course, and through the slatted floor into the bilge. So, with a three cabin boat, and if you looked at the, we've already seen the master cabin up forward with its ensuite. And the other two cabins, they share a head and shower together. And light flows in through the master cabin and the side cabins through good port, side ports, overhead ports. So it, you don't feel really claustrophobic or anything, especially in the aft cabin here, which extends under the saloon floor. Um, plenty of room, good standing headroom and good storage. You've got a good size galley for a, for a boat of the size for a 40 foot, it's, it's all you need. Because you've only got four or six people on board, probably only four most of the time. Composite surface, stainless steel sink, three burner hob, oven underneath, isotherm fridge and plenty of storage. And good ventilation, which is something we noticed on the uh, 365, got good venting to get all the smells out. The saloon is a real open Scandinavian layout with large flat surfaces and it's notice how light and airy it is. It's roomy, it's modern and it's made really cosy with a special lighting and the nice wood fittings and attractive seating and look at the size of that U-shaped dinette, that's huge. The panoramic glass roof is a real good feature of the 405. Large electric sliding glass roof with, has integrated blinds and you can see we've got half covered and half uncovered. And with a touch of a button, it all slides back. So you've really got a open, airy, sun can come in. And if you don't want it, you just close it. So just at lunch, we're gonna head off to our favorite fishing spot for the afternoon. But when you're going along, you don't wanna be looking aft like this. So this seat here comes up like this. Back in there, look at that, how great is that? Perfect seating for two people. So just fire it here, we've got a storage area, and what I like, this little pop-up TV, how cool is that? So, and if you're not interested in the fishing, having a quiet evening, kids want to watch TV, sit here, you can watch your favourite program, that easy. The helm's recently been remodelled, so it'll take a couple of 12-inch screens, in this case two Garmin's here, and your VHF, your autopilot, your Humphreys, everything's nice and handy. It's, it's easy to get at, it's easy to see. Controls are, are good. I'm sitting on the bolster at the moment, so I've got a bit of height. And if you wanted to go down, 
you've still got great visibility. Now we've got the side door, so that gives us easy access out to the wide side deck. And don't forget, these boats only have one deck on them. It gives you the space inside, so there's only a, a, a walkway on the starboard side, which is something unique to these Nimbus boats. All three of them we've done have had the same. But the other thing is, with the sunroof open, I can stand here, my height, to drive. If I want to come in at night, an area I'm not sure of, just like to have a clear view, then it works works really well. So, you know, a great helm. Now the cockpit of the Nimbus, like the other Nimbuses I've been on, are really designed for entertaining. And if you into your fishing, which most people are, the, the uh, boarding platform at the back's great for it, or you can put some things on the rails for a bait board or something. So, you know, you're not being compromised. But what they do have is a big, nice L-shaped settee, plenty of storage underneath. It's got a rise and fall table, so you can get a coffee table, or you can lift it up, make a dining room table out of it. It's really solid, and it folds out like that. You've probably got seating for you know, at least eight people around here. Now, because the boat's got a single side deck, side walk, they call it, this is all nicely closed off. You can get round here, but the secret is using this. And the beauty of this is that it gives you, as I've said before, gives you all that space inside. And this leads forward to another area, which is another entertaining area on the boat. Now, unlike a, a lot of boats this size, the walkway is actually usable. It's good width, it's good height, Good rails to hang on to so that you're not going to feel like you're falling over the side. But Nimbus haven't just forgotten about the rest of the boat. How about this cool, this is their sun deck. Now I can just imagine watching America's Cup or while someone's down the back fishing, you just want to lie it in the sun and, uh, and enjoy the day. So that's our Nimbus 405, that's our third Nimbus and I, I can't say enough about them, they're just outstanding boats. They're designed for relaxing on the water, but they serve a lot of purposes. You can go day boating with them, you can go weekend, you can go long cruising in them. And the three different sizes they offer suits your budget as well. So uh, if you're looking for a sports sedan, bit of style, top quality, want something a little different, you should check out these Nimbuses.